Ten times, Kakashi Hitaki earned fans' respect. The copycat ninja is revered by residents of Kanoha, and just as beloved by the Naruto fanbase. Kakashi Hitaki is a name that's respected and feared in the Naruto universe. It seems like Kakashi can't go anywhere without being recognized, he might be the closest thing the shinobi world has to a celebrity. Whether you're the Rakage or a member of the feared Akatsuki organization, you know exactly the kind of danger the copycat ninja possesses. His reputation is a product of his skill. A generational talent, Kakashi is tasked with the village's most difficult missions and more often than not succeeds. Because of this, the respect that fans have for him is incredible. Though he's accomplished so much, it's important to reflect on Kakashi's most impressive achievements. 10. He immediately mastered the double Manegio Sharingan. Throughout the series, Kakashi experienced his fair share of luck. Although unquestionably an extraordinary ninja, he faced off against several godlike shinobi and somehow survived. When faced with the threat of the god Kagaya, many fans thought Kakashi's time had finally run out. But with his last dying wish, Abito gifted Kakashi his second Sharingan, requesting that he use it to protect his friends and save the world. Message received, Kakashi immediately mastered wielding both Sharingan, forming a perfect Susanoo. His immediate proficiency even shocked Sasuke. Combining his newfound power with Kemui. There were few who could rival Kakashi in that moment. 9. He sacrificed his life against pain for the good of the village. The pain arc was peak Naruto, stacked with incredible storylines and series-defining battles. Pain was an excellent villain. Possessing a legendary power and striving for morally ambiguous goals. Targeting the Leaf Village and hoping to draw out Naruto, Pain confronted Kanoha's strongest ninja and bested them all. Kakashi put up an excellent fight but even he was thoroughly outclassed. However, he did learn some valuable information about Pain's abilities, information that contributed to Pain's eventual defeat. After requesting Choji report back to Tsunade, Kakashi uses the last of his chakra to Kamui away a missile aimed at the escaping Chunin. Kakashi dies peacefully, excited by the prospect of seeing Abito and Rin again. 8. Kakashi accepted the role of Hokage despite his preference for an easy life. Kakashi always possessed the skill and experience necessary to hold the title of Hokage, and his intellect. Combined with a natural diplomatic nature, further strengthened his resume. It's just Kakashi likely didn't want the role. He dislikes formalities and prefers to work behind the scenes. He valued his free time, always immersing himself in the newest novel. Those luxuries would be difficult to indulge once he takes on the work of Hokage. But in the end, he took the role anyway. His love for the village and the people in it meant he always acted in their best interest. Luckily for Kakashi, he inherited the title during peacetime and successfully navigated the diplomatic minefield until Naruto was ready to take over. 7. Kakashi helped Shikamaru and the rest of Team 10 avenge Asuma. Following Asuma's death at the hands of the Akatsuki, Shikamaru and the rest of Team 10 were hellbent on avenging their sensei. Kakashi, who grew up alongside Asuma, knew they couldn't do it alone. Although talented shinobi, they were raw and inexperienced. A confrontation with Haydn and Kakuzu meant certain death for them. So Kakashi offered his services and Shikamaru adjusted his plans for the copycat ninja. The battle was epic. Kakashi and Shikamaru developed an almost telepathic connection, sharing a superior intellect used to adapt to the uncertainty of battle. Vengeance was achieved and Kakashi played a significant role. Finally, Team 10 had closure. 6. Kakashi battled one of his students to save another. Sakura was burdened with an internal struggle, 
hoping to reunite with the boy she loved while knowing he must be held accountable for his actions. Loving a shinobi terrorist was never going to be easy. So when Sasuke's crimes escalated, Sakura decided to kill him and put an end to both of their suffering. But she was thoroughly outclassed by Sasuke, whose development as a ninja was terrifying. Fortunately, Kakashi stepped in and engaged his former student. In the Battle of the Sharingan, Kakashi was also burdened by his relationship with Sasuke. After some epic back and forth, their fight failed to reach a conclusion with Naruto intervening. 5. Kakashi taught Naruto his most devastating jutsu. Some fans of the show felt Kakashi marginalized Naruto, opting to focus on Sasuke instead. This was probably an accurate observation, Sasuke shared Kakashi's natural talent and both possessed the Sharingan. So it was great for fans to see Kakashi spend some time with the knuckle-headed ninja instead. Whilst training Naruto, Kakashi demonstrated his own proficiency with the Raisingan and educated Naruto on the skill of the fourth Hokage. He motivated Naruto, suggesting if he could successfully combine a nature element with his own chakra, he would surpass Lord Fourth. The training was a success and the Raisin Shuriken became one of Naruto's most popular jutsu. 4. Kakashi first proved his brilliance in his battle with Tsubuza. Kakashi's first conflict with Tsubuza holds a special place in the hearts of many Naruto fans, it's the first battle between two elite ninja. This was the type of old-school battle early Naruto was all about, no giant chakra monsters, no godlike figures, just a battle of skill, intellect and strategy. Their mutual respect for one another meant they held nothing back. Zabuza utilizing his killing mist and Kakashi unveiling his Sharingan. The impressive ocular jutsu gave Kakashi the edge, using the Sharingan's ability to copy Zabuza's attacks and damage the villain's psyche. 3. He led the third division of the Allied Shinobi forces. Kakashi's appointment as one of the commanders of the Allied Shinobi forces was a no-brainer. His skill, experience and reputation would be wasted as a foot soldier. Kakashi's division was confronted by Zabuza early on and then by the legendary seven ninja swordsmen of the Hidden Mist. He displayed excellent leadership, successfully battling and sealing several swordsmen. However, most impressive was his skill with the legendary executioner's blade, displaying frightening proficiency while cutting down multiple Hidden Mist members. Under Kakashi's guidance, his squad succeeded in their mission and joined up with the rest of the Allied forces to confront Abito and Madara. 2. When he protected the village from Itachi and Kisame. Fans will be quick to point out that Kakashi took quite the psychological beating from Itachi. However, the fact he recovered from Itachi's Tsukuyumi required tremendous mental resilience and the way he matched Kisame with his own water-style jutsu can't be forgotten. With the help of Kurinai and Asuma, Kakashi willingly confronted one man with as much chakra as a tailed beast and another who wiped out the most powerful clan in existence. His back and forth with Itachi was impressive considering most opponents are defeated within seconds of meeting the prodigious Uchiha. Kakashi took a beating, but his performance was nonetheless impressive. 1. He looked out for Team 7 until the very end. Kakashi's time as a sensei was unprecedented. Typically, a teacher will nurture their students until they reach the rank of Chunin. After which their job is done. Their students are no longer their responsibility, although most instinctively keep a watchful eye on them. Kakashi's experience was vastly different. Sasuke's desire for vengeance led him down a dark path, joining a terrorist organization and attempting to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Naruto was the savior of Konoha and later the world. But his journey from outcast to Jinchuriki was a turbulent one. Sakura was the least troublesome, though her love for Sasuke caused its own problems. Kakashi was a constant throughout all of their journeys and never stopped being their sensei. 
despite the trouble they brought with them.